Hey, what's happening? It's your boy RL and Ingles, and it's a beautiful life. Good morning. I've got my desk all cleaned off and ready to do an unboxing. Yesterday, while I was at Walmart getting the rest of the ingredients I needed for my diet, I picked up the headphones I've been wanting for quite some time. But unfortunately, last night I didn't get to open them and play with them. So tonight, we're going to unbox them and check them out. And here they are, the new Beats Solo HDs, the drenched in color edition with the matte finished, matching cable, and reflective logo. These are pure white headphones. They are super white, and I am a bit concerned about them getting really dirty, but they didn't have the black ones in the store, and I really wanted to get a pair, and I really wanted white, so I just went ahead and got white. Let's go ahead and bust these things open and check them out. I have to tell you, the, the, the box is just beautiful. Super minimalistic, gives you just enough detail about the headphones to sanitize you to want to buy it. But there's a lot of white space on this box. It's just really beautiful and elegant. Kind of takes some cues from Apple's packaging. Even though Beats is now a part of Apple, these came out before the acquisition. Let's open the box and check them out. Let's just slide the packaging right off here. And look at that. Tell me that's not Apple-like. A very, very minor detail, but a very beautiful design. It's very elegant and beautiful. A reflective, clear Beats logo on the front of the box once you get the slide off of it. And I see there's a little tab here. Ah, yes, that's very Apple-like. Oh, another reflective logo. That is so cool. This is very elegant packaging. I'm loving this. And another pull tab that pops open a, an actual Velcro opening here. Here is our cable. It's got a right angle to plug into the device and then a straight jack for the actual headphones. And then it's got a really nice set of controls here just like the Apple earbuds so that you can initiate and end calls, turn the volume up and down, advance to the next track with a little condenser mic right here in the cable as well just like the Apple earbuds so you can actually use these headphones to make a phone call. What else we got here? What is this? Let's see what we got in here. So we got the user guide, some more documentation, the warranty information. Ooh, and a sticker. Interesting. If only that was actually white, like the headphones are black with the black ones, so on and so forth, pink with the pink ones. I would, if that was white, that would be going on my laptop right now. But it's not, so we'll just leave that in there. And now let's move over to the main course of this delicious audio meal, the headphones themselves that are already packaged nicely and neatly in the white case that it comes with. And this is nice. Again, I'm worried about this getting dirty. As you can see, there's already stuff on it right out of the box. But I'm going to try to take really good care of them because I really like things in white. I liked the original white MacBook, and I got an iPhone in white this time with a white silicon case. So I've kind of got this really bright, super elegant, clean design, white theme going on with all of my electronics right now. So let's open them up and take a look at them. Oh wow, this case is really nice. It has a little pocket right here for the for the actual cable to go inside. Oh, that's nice. And here are the headphones themselves. They're very small. They didn't have these on display in the store. I had to ask to see if they even had any in stock. And like I said, they didn't have the black ones, but they did have these white ones. And I'm really glad I got the white ones. They're super clean, super elegant. I'm just... I just really hope that they, they hold up well and that they don't get dirty as easily as I feel like they are or that I can easily clean them to keep them looking pristine, keep them looking as good as they sound. Well, that's the Beats Solo HD headphones drenched in color, specifically these drenched in white. The next test is to pop them on my head and see what they sound like. These headphones sound amazing. They're not the most technically accurate sound. They are definitely bass heavy. If you're like Megan Trainer and all about that bass, these are absolutely the headphones for you. Speaking of bass, we're gonna make today's song of the day, You and Nat by E40. 
It is one of the most bass heavy songs I remember listening to when I was riding in my car with 10 inch subwoofers in the back banging out the trunk in a 1994 Saturn SL2 four-door. And it's the first song I looked up on Spotify to test the bass in these headphones with. These sound amazing, but it is way past my bedtime, so I'm gonna take them off and call it a night. I'm R. Allen Ingalls, and it's a beautiful life. Good night, I'll see you tomorrow. Girl, I've been shaking, snaking, and moving, trying to get to you and that booty.